here on behalf of Active Launceston for our Active Armchairs program. Uh, we're back up and running and we're excited to be offering four sessions today and tomorrow and next week two sessions again on Wednesday and Thursday from memory and we're going to take you through a little mini Active Armchairs program. So we hope you've been well and we hope this is to get motivated, get moving and to, uh, and to make use of a program that you can do from home. So we're going to get started, but before we do, just a reminder that if you have any medical conditions, any injuries, any niggles, um, if you're pregnant, uh, that uh, you need to work at your own level and to, it's okay to start and stop, grab a drink as you need to, but remember that she said, if something isn't working for you, try listening really hard to the cues that I'm providing to provide options and ways to make it easier and or harder. We're going to get started. So I'd like you just to try and sit up really tall in your chair, shoulders down and away from your ears and trying to put a gap between your bottom and the back of your seat. So here we're just going to start with some really gentle little lifts of those one foot at a time off the ground. So a shout out to the team at Healthy Tasmania. I hope that you, Lucy, Penny and Hayden are all uh, in your office or at home if you're working from there joining us today and I think there might be some of the uh, crew from the YMCA joining us as well so a big uh, shout out to you as well. Well done, just uh, now bring your feet to a still and then just try and tap one foot in front. So I so said it's fantastic that we've been able to put active armchairs back on for people to access from home. And the great thing about these Facebook uh, feeds or these feeds is that you can go back and repeat this session uh, when it suits you. Uh, tomorrow again, if you uh, feel like feel like an extra workout. So they're there, they're accessible and hopefully easy to follow. Good, last one of those. We're going to bring our arms up to shoulder height and start with some arm circles. Again, concentrating on sitting up nice and high in our seats and trying to keep our arms at shoulder height. Eventually we should start feeling our shoulders burn some sooner than others. Well done, just reverse the direction that you go with your arms. So I'm going to encourage you before tomorrow's our Active Armchairs program to have a look around at home for some items that you can use for a little bit of resistance. So I'll show you what I've grabbed from the cupboard, some chickpeas and some crushed Italian tomatoes. And I'm going to sit forward on my chair and use these for a little bit of resistance with some bicep curls. It also works well to grab you know, two equal sized drink bottles and fill them up halfway, or you can fill them up all the way if you want to work a little harder. So we're going to be, uh, learn to be a little bit creative in times like this. And I think there's some satisfaction that comes about from ploughing on and working around things, concentrating on what we can do rather than what we can't do. Good, well done. From there, just bring, I'll just put those down for a moment, um, just come into some little ankle rolls. So um, if you happen to have some little hand weights at home, you can certainly use those for, for parts of the session as well. They won't go astray. Good, let's change the leg over. So when we do exercise, we tend to try and do them at least two or three times. So for example, two or three times using this ankle and then back again for another set um, on the other leg. Just, uh, just to make our muscles work a little harder, but also good to consolidate the skills. Good and changing again. So a shout out to our regulars from Active Armchairs. We're seeing you face to face but I hope that you will join us for these uh, last four sessions of active armchairs from your, the safety and comfort of your own home. If you take your feet a little wider apart and then push your arms out in front for balance, we're going to try an exercise called sit to stand. So if you can, see if you can stand all the way up and take your time to sit all the way back down again. So just check obviously that your chair is there to sit into. Probably a little harder to do this one off the side of a couch at home. Probably better to have a stable, more stable base and something uh, that's um, a little bit more rigid to sit into. 
Good. So feel free to stop and have a little rest if you've had enough. And remember, you never have to go at the same pace that I'm going at. Choose a pace that works for you. We're going to do one more of these. And then I'm going to pick up my two cans again to begin a few more bicep curls. So my trusty, uh, trusty cans from the cupboard inside. So I'm on my deck at home. It's a lovely sunny day. It's great to get some fresh air. It's great to break the day up with some exercise. And I'd encourage you to ask your friends from their own homes to join us tomorrow at around 11.15 once again for another session. Be nice to be able to boast to your grandchildren that you've kept your exercise up even uh, with things being different to our normal world, a bit upside down at the moment. Well done, either with or without the cans. See if you can press them above your head. Some people will find that their range of movement doesn't allow for this, and that's okay. So you can go back to the bicep curl. Arm circles. You can use one arm at a time to give one arm a rest if you need to. We'll do a couple more. Well done. Let's come back to our sit to stands. So again, heels of the feet on the ground. And if you have another chair that you can use or um, that you could always put that in front of you as something to lean onto or help you to stand if that you're not quite ready to do this uh, without assistance. Well done. We've got one more to go after this one. And then we can stay standing. Well, excellent. We're going to uh, use our chair if we need it. Uh, I'm going to just hold on very lightly to the back of it with a nice straight back and come up onto my toes into a calf raise. And as I'm doing this, I'm just trying to contract or squeeze the muscles in the lower uh, part of my leg. This is a really good one to do in the kitchen when you put the kettle on and you're waiting for the, uh, the jug to boil for your cup of tea. Good. Now just see if you can bring your feet in a little bit closer together and balance on one leg. Always good to keep our balance working in our exercise. Lovely. See if you can change legs. If you can, you might find that you can only lift your foot a slight way off the ground and that's absolutely fine too. You've got of uh, the chair as well. And back to our calf raises. If you can this time, see if you can raise your arms either up towards your shoulder or up above your head as you come up onto those toes. So we would uh, love uh, Healthy Tasmania and I to see, sorry, Active Launceston to see some of those photos coming through of you doing your exercises at home. It helps uh, motivate other people. Well done. Last time with a little balance on one leg. And uh, yeah, it might inspire a few other people to, to join us. So let's work together to promote keeping healthy and well and maintaining our exercise. I know some people are more limited by where they can go at the moment. So try and use your own backyard to, try to get some, some outdoor exercise. Good, bringing it down. I'm going to turn around now. I'm going to use the side of my deck, but you can always use a wall for the next exercise, which is like a wall push-up. So I'm just going to place my hands just outside the width of my shoulders and my heels of my feet all the way down on the ground. From there, I'm going to bring my chest into the, to the wall, and just try and bend and straighten my arms. Once you get yourself going, just try and keep in mind keeping your belly button pulled through your spine and not pushing your hips towards the, to the, to the wall. So that's what you want to avoid this action. Try and take your bottom out a little bit further behind, but without your bottom being out a long way behind. The last couple just to consolidate what we're doing. Well done. And once again, you can either use have to lean on or your chair, some very gentle leg swings. So if you see your back moving, then you're probably trying to swing too far in front or behind. You want to stay nice and upright. Well done, let's change the leg over. You can either just turn or stay, switch 
Instagram. Lovely. And then once again, I'm going to use this foot chair for balance, but you can do it without. We're just going to try and go some little squats. So my bottom is going out behind me. And in fact, I can use my chair as a gauge. So this is a, a small squat. Cross your arms in front of your chest if you like. Or you might be able to go down all the way towards the seat into a deeper squat. Keep in mind when you do this that the bottom moves out behind you and you would like your knees to stay in line with your toes and looking out. Let's see if you can see anyone else out there in their backyards keeping active at the same time as you. Good, one more. Fantastic. Well done. If you just face front again, roll your shoulders over, pulling your shoulders down and away from your ears. I often find on the days where I least feel like exercising are the days that I should most, in a sense, try and uh, push myself out the door to do, a, do something because I always feel better for it. I always uh, benefit from some fresh air and always benefit from those endorphins that will run around your body. But sometimes we can do something for 10, 15, 20 minutes but benefit for it for many hours in the day after that. So I said just try try to, we're just going some little taps in front, just try and keep that in mind on the days where you're not feeling as motivated. It's also a good chance to ring a friend and see if you can tee up having an exercise buddy to do your exercises with. We've got wonderful uh, lots of different types of technologies that we can now employ to help us stay connected to people. So FaceTime is a really good example. You can see each other at the same time, speak in real time. Well done, last one. So earlier we were doing, started the session with some little knee lifts. If again, hold on to something if you need it. Small lifts, one knee at a time. You bring your feet apart as you bring your foot down to the ground, it will help keep you a little bit more balanced. But just one more of these. Well done. Good, I'm going to show you, grab my chair again. We're going to uh, do some stretches before we conclude our session today. So just like you sit back down again, straighten out one leg so your toe is pointed up towards the sky and then lean forward slightly with your hands above the bent knee. We encourage your questions, your queries, your feedback. Please feel free to let us know how you went today. Please let us know if you have any particular exercise you'd like us to try and include in the remaining active armchair sessions. And please invite your family and friends from different locations to join us so that as a community we know we're, uh, we're not alone, that we're exercising with other people and that we're all doing our bit to look after our mental health. Good. From here, just link your hands behind you to the back of your chair. Push your chest out and sit up tall. Try and pull your shoulder blades together. Lovely. Let's do the opposite action. Palms going out in front of us, pushing away to stretch out through our upper back. So we apologise, so I apologise for the delay today. We didn't uh, start on time, had a little bit of a technical issue. You uh, are few teething problems, but the thing about it is it's actually really nice to learn some new skills and know that there are different ways to, uh, to get people uh, their exercise, different mediums. Good, just cross your arm across your chest and then we refer to shutting the gate. So into that shoulder stretch. Lovely work. Let's change the arm over across your chest. Pull the other arm over to shut the gate. Lovely. Take your palms up to face the sky and then try and roll your thumbs under to behind you and just hold here. It's my little alarm telling me the next thing is on.
Good. Really gently, just roll those shoulders back over again. Then in your own time, just stand. Give everything a little wriggle and shake around. And then I'd like you to give yourself a pat on the back if you completed this session with me today for active arm chairs. And said, so please join us again tomorrow live. And when I say us, I mean the community out there. As I said, we're not, not alone and we'd love to have you join us for the remaining three sessions of active arm chairs. I'm going to sign out now. As I said, please feel free to, uh, to contact regarding feedback and questions and take care of yourself today. Nice close up for you.